Hello my lovelies, okay so welcome to this video, now this video has been so highly requested, I can't even tell you, um, I've had, ever since I mentioned it, I think it was a couple of videos ago, um, everyone's been like, do the hair removal video, so here I am, I have just recorded myself waxing and plucking on camera, um, so I'm going to edit those bits in <clears throat> when it comes to the editing process, um, but basically just wanted to talk to you about how I personally remove hair on my face and my body. First off, I want to just get rid of some of these myths that go around. I want to bust them for you. I'm going to be a myth buster. First one, a question I get a lot whenever um, I talk about waxing or hair removal is does it grow back thicker? Um, does it grow back longer? Does it grow back darker? Um, no, it doesn't. Now, the only reason why people think like, because I, for example, I shave my arms and whenever I tell people that, people are like, oh my god, you're going to end up with like huge monstrous like beefy arms. I've just been scratching. I don't know if that's coming up on camera. I'm sorry, I've got like a red scratch mark. Um, but no, the only reason it looks like it's coming up darker and thicker is because you've basically, especially if you're shaving, when you shave, you're taking off like the layer that's above like your skin. Um, and then when it starts to grow back again, um, because it's had no sunlight, it's like fresh hair, little like baby hairs coming up. Um, but they're dark because they haven't had the chance to get bleached by the sun. Um, and they're blunt as well because obviously with a razor you're blunt shaving them. Um, so they come up kind of, that's why they might feel a bit spiky, um, because you're just like taking off the head of the hair. Um, but if you leave it, like I haven't actually shaved my arms in probably about, th uh, about a month. Um, and like mine have just gone back to normal this is how my hair arm like always used to be so no your hair does not grow back thicker or darker or longer it grows back exactly as it would if you just got like removed hair for any other reason like it doesn't come back any different the question i get um when it comes to waxing is does it hurt now i've waxed my legs a couple of times and that fucking hurt so much like i can't handle having wax on my legs However, I don't actually think that waxing, like, upper lip and stuff actually hurts that much. Like, it hurts, it stings like a bitch when you actually, like, pull it. But it's not like a lingering pain, it doesn't keep, like, hurting. It's not like, I don't know, like a tattoo or something. It literally comes down to, like, your pain threshold and what you're used to. And the more you do it, the easier it becomes. The more you get used to it, I promise you that. Like, when I first started waxing, it was, it was a strong, hard time. Like, literally, it just... It used to just hurt so much that I would like cry, like my eyes would be streaming. Um, but now, like as you can see when I edit in the video clip, um, it really doesn't hurt that much at all. Okay, so before you start any sort of hair removal, you want to make sure your skin is completely clear. You don't want any dirt or grease or makeup or anything on your face. Because once, especially when it comes to waxing, when you're waxing, you're opening up the pores, you've got the little holes. Like you often get a bit of spotting when I did the video recording, there's a tiny bit of spotting on my upper lip. Um, which is really, you know, common, it's normal, um, but if you've got dirt and grease and gunk on your face when you're waxing, um, it can actually go into those like, little pores that open up once you've waxed, so like the hair follicle holes, I don't know what they're called, not a science person, um, but if it goes in, you'll end up with spots and kind of like acne breakouts and it's just not good, so seriously, just wash your face, um, I mentioned it when I was talking about waxing, but I'll quickly mention it again, I use the Johnson's Face um, Care, it's the Refreshing Gel Wash, absolutely love this stuff um i was using the clean and clear but it started to break me out and i just wasn't enjoying it so i went on to this one which i love and i like the fact it's got tiny little pink beads i don't know if that's actually going to pick up on camera i think i just i like anything pink so yeah so that's the first thing you want to do before you start hair moving now i'm going to go on to talk about eyebrows quickly First thing you need is a pair of tweezers that are decent. You don't want some shitty tweezers because I have had many experiences with tweezers that don't work and I end up, like you end up plucking either too much or not enough and it ju it's just a nightmare. Seriously just go and invest in a nice pair of tweezers. I use the HD Brows one, looks like this. Um, I like the fact that they're slightly slanted and um, they've got a pointed edge. These are my favourite type of tweezers, you can get like flat edge and I think you can get curved as well. Um, but I like the ones that are slightly um, pointed at the end so that um, when you go in to find like one like you know, there's always one hair somewhere on your face that you cannot get out and you need those little pointy bits to be like Maha! so um, yeah get a pair of tweezers that you really enjoy and easy to use I absolutely love the HD Brows um, tweezers I've got this in a glossy box um, but I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to find them online or something um, so you need a good pair of tweezers. Okay, now the next step is optional um, but I like to trim my eyebrows as well as um, you will see in the video um, I just take a comb like this, this is just my hairdressing kit, this is the Pro Tip 05, um, but it's just basically one of like the really thin combs, any sort of comb really, 
um, because what you need to be able to kind of, if I can just show you, you need to be able to brush the hair up. You can see the hair comes through. Um, I don't like mine too short, but I like to um, basically trim on the outer edges and right at the front. Um, so I um, also use my hairdressing scissors. Hair scissors are the best for this. Um, although I did use like normal scissors, just household scissors for a long time. Um, but honestly, since I've started using proper hairdressing scissors, it is so much easier and quicker and you get such a sharp line because they are so sharp. Um, mine are Pro Style Stainless Steel, if you're wondering for any reason, um, this is what these scissors are. But um, I got them in a little kit that looks like that, these are thinning scissors, but this is all for my hairdressing stuff. Um, I would never have had any of this stuff if I wasn't doing hairdressing. Um, but you just want scissors and a comb. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all you need, tweezers, scissors and comb. Um, I'm going to edit in to the footage now of me plucking so you can see how I do it. Um, I don't do too much, I normally, um, I start underneath my eyebrow, um, just on kind of like around the arch area, and just pluck away a little bit, and then um, I just take any like kind of stray ones on top. Um, I do like quite thick eyebrows though, so I don't take too much off. Um, this is just my personal way of doing my eyebrows. Um, if it's not for you, don't leave me hate, I'm just showing you, I'm sharing with you. Um, so yeah, let's get into that footage now. Okay, next up is the mustachio. Now, this is the thing. When I was uh, kind of like researching to do this video, I could not. I found I think three videos um, on YouTube that actually talked about kind of hair removal, and I'm just like, what is going on in the beauty community? Like, I guarantee the majority of us beauty gurus, um, us beauty gurus, I sound such a knob. The majority of beauty gurus wax their face or pluck their face. Like the majority do, um, because when you're applying makeup, having no hair on your face gives you such a kind of like a smooth um, kind of base and surface to work on. It's so much easier and your makeup looks so much better when you haven't got hair. I can't stress this enough. Um, I would tell every one of my girlfriends and every one of you guys to definitely wax and pluck. Um, always. So what you're going to need <laughs> for waxing. Now, okay, what I want to say is please don't give me any hate for this because I was really contemplating just talking about it but I actually recorded myself waxing my upper lip. So, um yeah please kind of you know give me some credit for that because i was i was actually really quite nervous for doing that um but i did it for you guys because i love you so um yeah what you're going to need um is some wax strips now my absolute favorites are the veet face normal skin ready to use wax strips they come in a box like this in a little pink box um i just got these in super drug they were like oh my god like four three four quid not expensive and so worth it honestly um, there's 20 wax strips and 4 perfect finish wipes. Now I haven't got any of the whites left because I used them, but the wax strips just look like this. You'll see them in the video when I cut into the footage. Um, but this is just what they look like. I'll explain all in the, um, I'll explain how to actually use it um, when I cut into the video. But that's all they are. Um, they just look like that. You can also use these on your bikini area if you wish. Um, you can use these on eyebrows, you can use these anywhere, anywhere that's quite sensitive because they're smaller and um, they're, they're just good, I like them. also need a moisturiser um, for afterwards because it will sting a little bit, especially if it's your first time. Um, and I use the Johnson's, I'm going through a Johnson's phase, Johnson's Face Care Daily Essentials for Normal Skin. It's in a little pink pot, it's so cute. Um, and I just put this... Um, Normally I won't wear makeup for as long as possible after waxing. Um, normally I'll do it in like the evening and in the morning I can put makeup on to go to college or out or whatever. Um, but I put makeup straight on after filming because I wanted to do the video. But normally I'll just put a lot of moisturise on on any areas. This is including when you're doing your eyebrows. Um, just moisturise because your skin's will be quite sensitive. 
um, and you just want to give it some moisture and give it some love so having a nice kind of neutral moisturizer this is Johnson's the reason I like Johnson's is because I know they have their like baby range and I trust them in looking after my skin so yes that's pretty much all I can say on waxing um, just go for it um, and I think now I'm gonna go back into the footage that I recorded earlier so yeah let's have a look at me waxing my mustache off <laughs> these are Veet face um, they're ready to use wax strips I've been using these since I began waxing um, and I love them so yes this is what they look like when they come out of the box um, it's just got this like, little pink strip I like the fact it's pink it's a little pink strip in the middle um, and it's got two it's in like a little baggy kind of thing like it's got two parts to it and what you want to do is put this between your hands and warm it up so just kind of rub it a bit you know just rub it along along the red to hardness probably easier to put it in the palm of your hand now I'm not gonna lie this does hurt um, but once once you've kind of got into the flow of it and the hang of it it honestly gets better like the first time I waxed I almost died like I have a really low threshold for pain and it just wasn't a fun time for me the first time I waxed um, it's still not particularly enjoyable but um, honestly you'll be amazed by differences I feel so much more confident when um, I've been waxed so once it's about warm enough it doesn't need to be really hot you just want to separate them Let's see if I can do this I'm gonna separate at the top little opening and then just peel it apart so you've got wax on two different strips now okay so let's get serious now ladies um, what you want to do oh first thing take some lip seal and put this on your lips the reason I'm saying this is because the wax won't stick um, to lip seal now if you don't use lip seal I've done it many times or I haven't used lip seal and then I go to wax and I wax kind of like especially it's the inner corners that I tend to kind of um, catch when you're pulling it and it can lead, uh, can like take off the skin and then you'll end up with like a scab and it's really gross because it's around your mouth so just make sure you've got lips on. Take the waxing strip so you've got the sticky side here so I'm going to take this now I find it easiest to bend that down a tiny bit so I've got the wax as close to the top as possible okay, and then close your lips together like that and you just want to place this on one side of your lip okay I've done it now, I can't, I can't go back now. <laughs> now what you want to do, I know it looks super sexy right now, you just want to rub this onto your skin, you want to keep it warm, if possible. Just rub it onto it, make sure it's completely like adhered to your face. I know you probably can't even hear me, I don't know if that's any better. Um, but just push it down. Okay. And then for the scary bit, <laughs> You want to start, you want to pull against the hair growth. Um, so mostly on your upper lip, you want to go the opposite way. So I put this downwards and I want to pull from the bottom up. Um, on this side, I'll put it downwards and I'll pull from the bottom up. Now you want to hold your cheek quite taut when you do this, because if it's really kind of, if you've just got your normal skin, um, it's going to kind of pull and stuff and it's going to be painful. Well, more painful. Um, okay. As if I'm waxing my upper lip on YouTube. I do a lot for you guys. So after three, best to just count down and pull it. One, two, three. I can't do it. <laughs> okay, do it. Oh. Oh god. Right. So I've waxed this side now. Now the reason I'm not wearing like any makeup or anything, as I said, um, other than the fact that you shouldn't be wearing it, but on my eyes because my eyes water like a motherfucker when I do this. So I know it's kind of gross, but you can see on here now. You actually get bits of hair stuck in the wax, that's what you want. So you do get like a kind of residue left on your upper lip, but that's fine because you just take it off at the end. Um, so now using the same strip, I'm going to go on to the other side. <laughs> As you can see, that was bearable, like it hurt and it stings. When you pull it, it hurts, um, but once it's gone, it's not like a lingering pain. That's the thing you've got to remember, it's like an instant, like, oh! and then it's gone it's fine okay <laughs> and then from this side you want to take this corner remember pull your cheek taut down and use I'm right-handed so I use my right hand pull it down pull it taut and then just pull okay you want to put all the way off if you do it slowly it's gonna hurt more trust me I know you want to go slowly because it's scary but just do it in one it's like a plaster okay one two three oh. 
Oh. Okay, so now you can see I've got tiny bits of residue. I know this is super attractive, but I've got tiny bits of residue. Now what you want to do is with the rest of like the paper, just stick it, uh -oh, I'm not using the actual wax because you've already got wax on your face, and then just pull it. Just to get rid of extra hairs. This is a bit you have to be careful with because you don't want to cut your lip because it fucking hurts a lot. Ah, mother... Okay, so that side's done. Do this side. I never thought oh, I'd be waxing my upper lip on YouTube. Like, I do a lot of stuff on YouTube, but there's a difference between talking about it and doing it on YouTube, so... Hope you appreciate this. Please like this for pain. <laughs> Okay, so just stick it in the middle and then pull your cheek down. Ah, motherfucker. What you want to do now is get a mirror and get into the light and see if you've got hair left. Now, I get little hairs. You can see I get a tiny bit of spotting of blood. That's fine. It doesn't really hurt that much. It just stings. Um, if you get a bit of blood when you're waxing, don't worry about it. It's fine. So, I've got a few underneath. Now, I know a lot of people just do upper lip. Um, but I like to do all over because I find that my foundation sits so much better on my skin. Well, I haven't got hairs everywhere. So I'm going to take the other side of the, f um, the wax strip, the fresh one, because this one's all a bit manky now. Um, and I'm going to pop this <laughs> under your lip hurts a little bit more. But honestly, guys, if you're going to do it, you might as well go like the whole hog, if you know what I mean. Like, There's no point just doing it half-heartedly. You've already gone through the pain. Just finish it off. OK, so you want to go underneath. <laughs> get the idea I'm hoping if you have any questions on this please don't hesitate to leave me them in the comments section or via an email or whatever um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have and that's it that is all you have to do to wax your upper lip you then normally in these um, as you can see under here it says four perfect finish wipes um, but I've used them but they're they're kind of like oily and it actually gets rid of the um, kind of residue of the wax properly if you don't you can just use a wipe um, and then just go and wash your face a wipe that's quite rich um, you don't want a dry wipe but I use the Johnson's face care pink ones um, and they really do they're quite not oily but they've got a lot of moisture in them so um it actually gets rid of the residue so yeah as you can see considering I've just waxed I'm hardly red at all like, there's hardly anything there um, and I've just done my eyebrows. Like, the more you do it, um, the more used to it you get, honestly. I'm not just saying that. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so finally we've got hair removal for the rest of your body. Now, I mentioned a couple of videos ago, and I've got a lot of questions on this as well, that I found the best razor ever. Um, I can't take all the credit because my boyfriend was using this razor. It should have clicked in my head that men's razors are probably better than women's because men, obviously, well, most of the time, especially if they're working in an office, have to shave every day, and it has to, obviously, you get, like, stubble rash, and it's on your face, and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, right. So I went into Superdrug with the boyfriend, just having a browse, and I saw the razor was on offer. Now, it is called... Hang on, I wrote it down. It doesn't actually have the name on the razor, obviously, so I had to write it on my phone. BRB. It's called the Gillette Fusion Pro Glide Golden Edition. Um, this is just a golden edition one because it's gold. Looks like that. Oh, shit. Just looks like that. I can't tell you enough how much I love this razor. This razor gives me the closest, most smoothest shave I've ever experienced. Honestly, I have quite a thing about hair. Hair really bothers me a lot. So finding a razor that actually works properly and decently and actually kind of properly gets rid of the hair without waxing is something that I love um, because I really, really do not like hair on my body. I don't like it anywhere, hence why I shave my arms. I shave my entire body and wax and pluck like my face, basically. Um, so this is what the razor looks like. Now, I haven't actually got a clean blade and I don't, it's kind of gross, but um, let me find one that's kind of decent. This is probably the best one. I've used this quite a lot. I need to get some new blades. So I know that I'm showing you a used blade, which is kind of gross, um, but I just, whatever. Um, so on these, you have five blades and you have a single blade at the top, which is on here. Now the reason I love this is because I think it's the five blades, like they're so sharp and once you just put my leg in view, 
um once you actually shave it like it just i don't know like when you put it on your skin it kind of like molds to the shape you can't even see molds to, like the shape of your leg like it's so easy to use i absolutely love this razor seriously i'm not sponsored or being you know whatever for them not being paid for this video um i just love this razor so much um a trick i have to share with you guys now I, I don't know where i saw this um but i go well like when i used to buy shaving foam i used to go through bottle i used to go through about a bottle every kind of 10 days two weeks like because i shave every day and i like to be smooth and smooth so i use as much kind of shaving foam as possible um but a really cheap alternative which i love is going into like asda or any sort of kind of supermarket I'm buying a huge bottle of really cheap conditioner. Like I got a big bottle for like two quid and I use that as shaving foam because conditioner has still got like that kind of silky feel and it still stays on your skin, which is why I like using it. It's basically like cheap shaving foam. It doesn't lather up, but you don't need it to. Um, so top tip for you, um, if you don't, if you're spending a fortune on shaving cream like I was, just go and buy a really big bottle of cheap conditioner and use that all over your legs and your arms and whatever other areas you want to shave um this is another thing okay so any blokes watching this you don't want to listen uh i'm just going to go out and say if you're shaving down below um the little blade like the one blade is ow i just cut my skin <laughs> yeah that's good isn't it swipe across the blade more um the top blade the um first one is perfect for shaving um down below because you have all the areas that you can't really get into too well especially when you've got five blades on top it's quite a big um razor um and having the one blade you can kind of get into like the nooks and crannies um, of your private parts without cutting yourself and you know I mean we I think we all end up anyone that shaves down below just gonna go out and say it ends up in the weirdest positions in the shower because you've got your legs up like you, it's just it's not an attractive you know thing to be doing um, but it's good when it's done um, but yeah so I absolutely love this razor um, because I shave daily everywhere and um, the blades do last you get normally a pack like this it get, comes in like a little case so you, it kind of sits on there so you can leave it in like your shower and stuff and underneath it has different blades normally comes with four blades so yes that is the hair removal video guys um i think i've covered everything i've covered shaving waxing and plucking so yeah i hope you enjoyed this and i really hope you found it helpful i hope that anyone that is kind of thinking about doing hair removal um like waxing or whatever go for it honestly um i'm with you all the way if you have any questions please don't hesitate to leave me them below um, i'm more than happy to answer any questions that you have i can do a follow-up video if you would like if there's like a lot of questions um but yeah so thank you for watching oh and i'm getting a new camera um at the kind of end of the month of november um because it's my birthday holla um so um hopefully no more problems with my camera i have had so many problems with this camera and i'm getting a camcorder so there's no more problems so there's gonna be more videos from me so yeah thank you for watching all my links as usual in the bottom bar and i will see you in my next video